guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we're continuing the world tour for LR, Tapion, and Minosha. Um, now, I had thought about ending the legendary Goku event sort of runs, uh, because it just seems like every character is able to just absolutely clap the legendary Goku event. It's just not difficult the way it once was. But honestly, I don't know. Um, I feel as though with the new GT Legendary Goku coming out, like, I don't know, I, I might just make, I might actually just retire these ones and then just continue on, you know, with the new GT Legendary Goku event sort of in its place. Okay, so the friend, here, let's do this. The friend LR Tapion, I believe, is only 55%. Obviously, finding, like, you know, LR Tapions that are more than 55% is very, very difficult. Um, so I, we're not really going to focus too much on what this guy can do. I'm probably going to get AGL Tapion, uh, next to LR Tapion, and we'll sort of move through the event and see how the two of them work together. Um, I really like this rotation. Um, it does bode well, I think, for Do the future of Dokkan, that they're, like, if they sort of do this, they group these new characters together and make them very, very good together, right? Like, you know, AGL Tapian got his EZA. It's like, he's really good, but, you know, he, he really needs a friend. And then they gave us this, right? Which is awesome. Um, all right, so they'll work better with Tech Ultimate Gohan right here. Uh, they do have three links for them. Cold Judgment, Brainiacs, and uh, Fierce Battle. Um, obviously, we have, you know, units like LR Evolution Blue Vegeta here, who is going to be able to do uh, a lot of damage and put up a lot of uh, very impressive, like, showings here. Um, a lot of the characters on this team, like, we're running the Warriors of Legend slash Sibling Bond team, which is very, very good, right? This is where, like, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta being one of the best units in the game, Tech Ultimate Gohan being one of the best units in the game, you know, and we're able to just sort of, like, combine them with, like, a lot of the characters from Warriors of Legend, like PyCon, Kid Buu, characters like that it just work. it's it's just going to work very well right um I, I think one of the best things about lr tapian and minosha here is their team the only problem is at in this day and age it's awesome that their team is so good but if the team if, if the, a team is not run by a hype character vegito vegeta goku you know broly gohan if a team is not run by one of those characters it's like, it's almost as though who cares that they e even are leaders for a team at all. It just literally does not matter <laughs> because you're never even going to find them on the friends list, right? Like, so I don't know. Um, I actually am a little bit hopeful that now that Dokkan is spamming non-hype Dokkan fests at us, that really might indicate that we are going to be getting uh, something a little bit different, right? Like like a, a, a friend system sort of fix or update. I mean, they have to be aware that like by spamming, you know, these types of characters at us, Videl, LR Tapion, PyCon, Trunks and Goten, no one runs them. Like, like these guys don't exist on the friends list. If I want to run the Trunks and Goten team right now, Likely, I would have to go reset an event three or four times before I would actually even find an, uh, a, a Trunks and Goten lead. And that's just not thats just not the way it should be for a brand new Dokkan Fest exclusive, a premium unit, right? The friend system, there's too many leader characters. Even if it like the friend system wasn't as big of an issue, there's so many characters. I think, dude... Letting us use, like, 2,000 friend points or something like that to just clone our lead, I don't know why that's so difficult. Like, that's literally all they have to do. And then, like, it, you know, it still matters, you know, bringing friends, getting friend points, right? Um, you know, having, you know, giving you a reason to use friend points besides a friend summon because, like, people don't want to hear it. But JP never got... Uh, some of the things that Global got, right? So Global got, what is it? The uh, special friend summons where you could get like Kai's and stuff like that from the friend summon banner. Um, JP's never gotten that, right? So on JP, I literally have not like had to do friend summons since, what was it? August of 2018 when LR Great Salmon 1 and 2 came out. That's the last time I actually had to like consistently use friend points. I have like... I don't know. I, I mean, I, I could check at the end of this. I have like 60 million friend points or something. I don't know. Like, I, I 
I'd have to check. And, like, every single time I go through an event and I'm grinding links and stuff like that, I'm getting even more friend points. I'm going to save the active skills for a while. The active skill is one of the single best things about this Tapion and Minoshi unit, by the way. Um, the fact that they are capable of giving a three key 20% attack and offensive active skill buff for two turns is crazy. 274k defense is nuts. Obviously, with AGL Tapion, we have everything active except for Cold Judgment as well as Legendary Power. Um, it is a bit of a bummer that uh, EGL Tapion doesn't have Cold Judgment because that would make this LR Tapion even better. Three dodge kicking and always love to see it. See, their damage numbers are solid, but it's like nothing special. You know, they are summonable LR. They don't build up in any way, right? Like, they could be... They're exactly the same that they are on turn one as they would be on turn 27, right? Um, they do get damage reduction uh, when they super attack in the same turn, but I'm not a fan of that mechanic. AGL Tapion, by the way, like really is eating off of this LR's introduction into the game. Because AGL Tapion, like with a unit to activate a lot of his links, give him defensive support, then you combo that with the absolute ridiculous... Uh, bullshit that he's got um uh the whatchamacallit like like his 50 percent damage reduction and egl tapion is just like absurd now with this lr like i i, I almost feel like that's that's the main one of the main things is it's like this is more so about egl tapion getting stronger like support for him right i mean you could look at it in the alternative and that they released egl tapion's easy to support the lr which is certainly true but like you know, the two of them are definitely designed to be run together and are meant in every way to be run together. Um, all right, so I'm going to do this. Looks as though key, again, is pretty much always going to be an issue with this character. Um, we can get them the 17 key. I'll do that. Uh, with PyCon, we can still get our support. So they're actually over 300k defense right here. Um, and we're getting the 18 key super attack actually thanks to PyCon getting the two key. So we're over 300k defense, and remember that every super attack gives him 13% damage reduction. So like, in UI Goku, it, like if Tapion and Minosha triple super, in UI Goku on a super attack it would do like 50k or less. Like he'd do he do nothing to them, right? Like they would actually completely tank. But it a lot of it is RNG in how many super attacks are Tapion and Minosha gonna bust out? Are they gonna give you one, two, or three? Right? Typically you're gonna see them do one. Um, Okay, we actually got the triple super attack right there, funny enough. This unit would be a lot better. So the way their passive, like, reads, right? They get a medium chance, 30%, of launching an additional super attack when performing an ultra super attack, an 18 key super attack. If that was a guaranteed additional attack with a medium chance of being a super attack when performing an ultra super attack, it would have been far better, right? Like, that, if they had the built-in additional, no matter what, that then, I mean, honestly, it, it just should be a, a, an additional attack that has a chance of being a super attack. Like, never, they shouldn't have to do their 18 key super attack when that's the weakness of this unit anyway. Um, honestly, I think. Um, alright, let's, let's skip ahead to uh, Blue Goku now. Alright, so here's Blue Goku. Um, just to really test them out, let's put them in slot one. Let's see if Blue Goku can even damage them at all. Uh, like, I, what is their defense right here? Defense is 239k. I could have put him in the middle slot. We would have gotten legendary power for extra attack power. But, like, honestly, like, attack power is not what we're looking at them for. Yeah, like, look at that. Their, their defense is too good, right? Like, it, it's so high. And then now, once you start getting the damage reduction on top of nearly 300k defense, that's where it's very difficult for them to take uh damage um oh, really in order for them to truly take the image um it has to be like a type disadvantage super attack right like even type neutral super attack is not gonna destroy them um once if, if like if they double super it's gonna be very difficult for them to say yeah just like that even if blue goku super attacks right here this is gonna do not a lot like this will 150k or less uh, like they this should be pretty impressive please super 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 Super. All right, Goku is, is a bitch. All right, so Goku did not super attack. It's fine. Um, that, I mean, still, taking double digits in that manner, that's all we needed to see. Um, I think this Tapion and Minosha, depending upon if the new GT Legendary Goku event has got missions 
for certain categories, which I think is very, very likely, very possible, um, we really could uh, see this LR tape in a Minosha be very impactful for getting those missions done from like movie heroes showing forces, you know, Wars of Legends, stuff like that. Um, all right, let's skip ahead to uh, STR UI Goku now. All right, so here we are against STR UI Goku, right? Now, I'm tempted to start busting out our active skills. Uh, I, I mean, I might as well. I, pretty soon, I might as well. What, what we'll probably do is we'll use him against Int UI Goku. You probably would want to use him against the strongest phase. I'm going to just put him in slot one right here. Just sort of ma maximize this whole rotation. This is a very powerful rotation. Duh. Like, we're getting like 80% support for all three characters. How much are they going to take? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's devastation. 120k is all he can do? That's child's play, dude. That's literally nothing. They're very powerful. AGL Tapion is crazy. Um, I I'm very excited for them to get back into GT, honestly. Like, now, like, you know, GT is so dead. Like, no characters have, like, good super attack animations from GT. I'm okay if they spend the next year and a half only doing, like, GT in movies. Totally fine with me. Because there's so much from both movies and GT that we still need good animations for. I I'm, I'm very pleased, I think, at the fact that we are returning to GT. Uh, hopefully, GT does sell well. All right, so I'm going to skip ahead now to Int UI Goku. Uh, we'll sort of test it out. We'll pop their active skill. We'll see how they do against Int UI Goku. All right, so now we're going up against Int UI Goku. Um, obviously, <laughs> dude, we don't even need the active skill. That's what's so crazy about this. We're going to destroy Int UI Goku, take zero damage. We don't even need the active skill. Like, it's just... It is definitely time for a new legendary Goku event. Like, I feel like this is perfect timing. Because, like, you know, again, Tapion and Minosha are supposed to be run in slot two, right? You could tell by the fact that they get the damage reduction on super attack, right? And, like, we can still just, like, rock them in slot one, like, casually, and they're just fine. Like, that that should show you that it, it is definitely time for the new legendary Goku event to pop up. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, right? This might be the last... No, I, I guess the Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest will probably be the last uh, two, like, units I take into the le this Legendary Goku event. I probably will retire these videos after that when the new Legendary Goku event comes out. And I'll just do, uh, you know, videos with that instead. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, so, I guess with the new... Le I, I, You know, honestly, they could even release new missions for this Goku event. Uh, when the new one comes out, that would be a really good idea. We'll see. They could definitely do some fun stuff. But uh, let me know what you guys think of LR Tapian and Minosha. I think they absolutely dominated right here. They looked very impressive. Obviously, I mean, it's not like the Legendary Goku event is that hard, but they still did rather good. So thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch you all next time.